Hello friends, myself Dr. Mayur Saita and we are going to discuss about middle ear. Middle ear is situated between the external ear and the inner ear. You can also say it is a sandwiched between the external ear and the inner ear. It is a cube like space but not exactly cube like space but it has a six walls. Anterior wall, posterior wall, lateral wall, medial wall, roof, floor. We are going to discuss these all walls, its structures which are uh, present in these all walls. So we are going to discuss all these six walls in detail. So please see this video up to the last. So it will be easily remembered to you. So first of all, we will divide the middle ear cavity into the three parts and for dividing the middle ear cavity, we will take two lines. What are those two lines? So one line from the above the part of the tympanic membrane and the lower line from the lower part of the tympanic membrane. That's how the middle ear cavity is divided into the three parts. The upper part is known as the epitympanum. The, the exit at the level of the tympanic membrane, it is known as the mesotympanum. And onto the lower side, hypo, lower side it is known as the hypotympanum. This middle ear cavity also known as the tympanic cavity and it is divided into the three parts, the upper epi, the, at the level of the tympanic membrane meso and the lower part it is known as the hypotympanum. And when you ask, when you are asked, the middle ear cavity is the shortest at the which part, then the answer is the mesotympanum. So you must remember from the above part epitympanum it is a 6 millimeter just 6 millimeter it is not just 1 centimeter 6 millimeter and onto the middle part it is a 2 millimeter and onto the lower part it is a 4 millimeter so just remember 4 plus 2 is equal to 6 so from the lower hypo 4 then the 2 and the 6 that means that the tympanic that the tympanic membrane and the medial wall they are very much near to the each other and you just remember the vertical diameter is a 15 millimeter that is around 1.5 centimeter as well as the anterior posterior diameter is also 15 millimeter that is a 1.5 millimeter so 1.5 1.5 but 4 to 6 now we are going moving towards the relations of ear present or you can say relations of the middle ear cavity. So we will start from the easiest and that is the lateral wall. The lateral wall. The lateral wall there is a presence of the tympanic membrane as well as you just remember the coda tympani nerve. Yes, this is the coda tympani nerve which brings the taste sensations from the anterior two third of the tongue. Except, except what? Yes, you comment on the below side of the video, accept. Okay, fine. And then we discuss the medial wall. Medial wall. And the medial wall, you just remember first there is a presence of the promontory. What is this promontory? PM, it is written here. So promontory is just a bony prominence which is produced by what? The basal turn of the cochlea. Now where this turn is present, you just see here. Here there is a presence of the cochlea and the cochlea having the two and half ton. This is the first ton, then the second and this is the half. So this basal ton which is also known as the first ton, here it produces one prominence onto the medial wall and which is known as the, what that is known as the PM also known as the promontory. And with relations with the promontory you remember two windows, what are those windows? So onto the medial wall, here there is a lateral wall, onto the medial wall, there is a presence of the promontory and promontory. When you go behind, backward side, and when you go upward, there is a presence of the oval window. But from the promontory, when you go behind or backward and downward, there is a presence of the round window. So oval window above and the round window below. So you can see here, there is an oval window and this is the round. Yes, the oval window shape is the oval. From the promontory, it is a backward and above, and round window backward and downward. Very good. So you have remembered oval window and the round window. You can see here there is a presence of the stapes foot plate onto the oval window, and onto the this side there is a round window for the vibration sensations. 
as well as onto the medial side of wall you just remember one important structure onto the onto the medial wall posterior side posterior side and above side you can say onto the junction of the medial as well as the posterior wall there is a one thing is located over here and which is known as the prominence of the lateral semicircular canal so there are three semicircular canals yes you all know that we will discuss in detail into the inner ear anatomy so you can see here there is a three semicircular canals you can say lateral semicircular canals then the superior as well as the posterior so here there is a presence of the lateral semicircular canal which is located onto the medial wall posterior upper side very good now we will discuss onto the about the anterior wall anterior side so anterior side you just remember two things what are those two things one the important muscle the canal for that muscle and another one there is a connection of the middle ear cavity with the nasopharynx so what is these two strings are known as so anterior side there is a semi canal for the tensor tympani muscle as well as a, there is a tubule opening and you can see here into the 3d picture this is this this part is known as the tensor tympani muscle the canal for the tensor tympani muscle and here there is a eustachian tube so tensor tympani muscle is above and the eustachian tube is below and the direction of the eustachian tube is so here there is a nasopharynx the so direction would be what how the direction it is going uh, anteriorly that means the direction is a uh, forward then it is going uh, downward so it's a uh, below that's a downward as well as it is laterally or medially so it is going uh, medially so direction of the eustachian tube it is the downward you can say forward and uh, medially that's how the eustachian tube opens into the naso pharynx so that is located onto the which part of the middle ear so that is located into the anterior wall of the middle ear so middle so you anterior wall you remember just uh, two things now we will see the posterior wall onto the posterior side what structures are located remember four main things what are those four main things so starting from above to downward so on the above side onto the posterior wall above so upper part there is a location of the editus or the antrum so you can easily say there is a mastoid process and that mastoid process of opening into the middle ear through which wall it is opening into the middle ear through the posterior wall and you can see here it is located into the this part yes here so here onto the middle side middle ear it is a posterior above side there is a opening of the editus so editus so from the editus antrum then the mastoid air cells when we see the the second most important structure here is location of the pyramid here you can see here that is a written as a p pyramid yes pyramid and this bony projections just near to the pyramid there is a location of the facial canal so facial canal which part is situated onto the posterior walls onto the posterior wall there is a presence of the vertical segment of the facial nerve which is a present into the bony canal which is known as the facial canal and one thing i just forgotten to tell you people onto the medial wall there is a presence also of the facial nerve but it is the oblique part of the facial nerve and this oblique part now continues as a vertical part of the facial nerve into the facial canal and just near to this facial canal there is a location of the pyramid and this pyramid is responsible for what it give attachment to the which muscle which is the smallest muscle of our body yes tell me yes 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 think about it i am showing you into the diagram here which is the smallest muscle of our body which is known as the stapedius which is uh, attached with the pyramid and this stapedius is going up to which part of the stapedius so you can up to now you have remembered the four important things onto the posterior wall there is a presence of the editus then there is a presence of the vertical part of the facial canal then the location of the pyramid and there is a one opening from the corda tympani because facial nerve is going into the facial canal but the the corda tympani nerve is starting from here and then it is going into the lateral wall so that's how we have finished the posterior wall of the middle ear now the easiest two things that is the roof and the floor so onto the roof there is a presence of a thin bony plate thin bony plate and what is the name of that plate that plate is known as the tegment tympani which separates middle ear from which cavity so it separates the middle ear from the 
middle cranial fossa so above that there is a middle cranial fossa and this middle ear it is separated from the middle cranial fossa to one thin bony plate which is known as the tegment tympani and you can see here there is a presence of the brain there are three matters pia arachnoid dura mater just above to the roof of the middle ear and lower side there is also present of a one thin bony plate which separates it from what it separates it from this vein which is known as the jugular vein which is coming out from the skull through the foramen jugular as well as uh, there are some small pores are over there and which nerve is passing from the floor of the middle ear then the, from the floor of the middle ear there is a tympanic branch of the glossopharyngeal nerve if you have not watched my glossopharyngeal nerve video go and see and uh, you will see there that the branch of the glossopharyngeal nerve from here entering into the middle ear cavity and forming the tympanic plexus and tympanic plexus also the internal carotid artery the sympathetic plexus around the internal carotid artery yes sympathetic plexus does not travel alone it loves to travel with the artery and the favorite here there is a internal carotid artery and this plexus around the internal carotid artery the branch which is going inside and forming the tympanic plexus which ultimately supplies the middle ear cavity so i hope you all have understood the relationships of the middle ear the lateral medial roof floor anterior and the posterior and one important thing which i love to tell you that is known as the middle ear clinical that is the infection of the middle ear cavity so what is that infection of the middle ear cavity known as the infection of the middle ear cavity is known as the otitis media so remember the word otitis that means it is related to the ear if it is a media that is a infection or inflammation of the middle ear otitis externa inflammation of the external ear otitis interna there is inflammation of the inner ear and for the otitis also there are different types acute you can say asom acute suppurative otitis media serious otitis media chronic suppurative otitis media these are all the components of the ent topic so we'll discuss into the ent i hope you all have remembered the anatomy of the middle ear see you in the next video thanks for listening